Good morning. It's 645 on this Monday. It was good while it lasted. Gas prices continue to go up this week. Prices at the pump rose to an average of $2.20 a gallon, according to the Lundberg survey, after plummeting by $1.65 between May last year and January this year. It seems the downward trend is over. The gas price crash has turned around thanks to a rebound in the price of crude oil. Prices at the pump rose less than crude prices, so analysts expect a rise in gas prices by about 5 to 10 cents over the next several days. Valentine's Day is just around the corner, and according to recent surveys, your Valentine may be expecting a little more than just candy and flowers. Listen to this. Americans are expected to shell out nearly $19 billion this year, about $140 per person. If you think that sounds like a lot, you're probably right, and there is a reason for it. Electronics like smartphones and tablets have become quite common over the past couple years, especially for men. Obviously, flowers and jewelry are not really male-oriented, and so men have sort of claimed the electronics category for themselves for Valentine's Day. Our preferences are changing, you know, um, as social media becomes an everyday aspect of our lives. You know, getting something like a smartphone is a little bit sexier than it used to be. That's an expensive gift. A survey by Ebates found 39% of people were hoping for a smartphone as one of their Valentine's gifts. Finding the right tax preparer can ease your stress over filing and might save you some money while you're at it. There are a number of ways to find a tax preparer. The IRS website, irs.gov, offers a search page to help you find preparers that meet the agency's qualifications to prepare federal returns. Just click on Choosing Your Tax Professional. There's also national tax prep chains that can help you, and you just might be eligible for free tax help.